everyone. This is Rin from Momugi. And this is Sil. And yep, and today we are going to play the White Cat and Gintama collaboration story stages. We're going to continue playing. Yeah. Yep. And in the previous part, yeah, we have um where we were tasked the Gint Gintoki and Ko were tasked to clear some rubbish yep, in, in a the, metaphoric sense. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I mean they met the bad guys ultimately in, in their so called mission and I am assuming uh, that these bad guys that you know the 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 bad guys that we defeated are the lit are the metaphorical rubbish for 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 yeah. this mission. At least that's what we are guessing for now. Yep. The plot may reveal otherwise though. So we'll Humor keep trying rubbish. to find out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Let's pick off from where we last left off and this is chapter four. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah, I still remember, you know, the owner of that, this, this uh, bar, they actually charged us, what, for 400,000 girl for oolong tea? Yeah. Yeah, four cups of oolong tea, that's some really expensive oolong tea. Yeah, so this, they are human rubbish, deserving to be thrown away into the rubbish bin. Yeah. Oh, even this gang member <laughs> says that yeah, they are, they 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 are the the streets rubbish. Yeah. Oh, suddenly, we are treated to a very sentimental part of the story, like Gintama story goes. <laughs> Eh? Oh, they asked what happened to the bar, and he said it became uh, just a road. Like, I think so. Does that mean they, they means they like knocked it down? I think so. And like, After the... it to the ground. Yeah, as in literally the building is knocked off. Uh, and the gang okay. members. That's why. Oh, destroyed uh, to make a path. It's going to be destroyed to make a path. Uh, yeah, and the gang members so left the why... island. Oh, I see. That's why the hero is. Um, the white cat hero is sad about it, troubled about it. Yeah, Katara says that the uh, our employer is a horrible person. No? Oh, okay. It's not. Oh, 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 she's uh, saying that the gang the was gang. horrible. Uh, she's sympathizing the gang that left. You know that. Yeah, the... she's saying that. Yeah, not the employer was horrible, but the gang was. Even though they are horrible people, but. Yeah, oh. okay. Doesn't want the money. I oh. think so. Yeah, both the payment and the deposit. Oh, so we'll still be in debt. Yeah. Oh, will that ever be clear? <laughs> Even though, yeah. Mm. Oh, he says that a street even 
without a bit of rubbish is something he doesn't like. Kagura is not happy they did the job for free. <laughs> I Kagura is like seeing, seeing him with new eyes, like, yeah, seeing him anew. <laughs> Kito is, Ki is saying that, you know, in this fantasy-like world, can they get more jobs that is fantasy-like, you know, like saving the world <laughs> from a pinch. Yeah, and then, you know, uh, having some cheat-like power, power creep coming up. Clean up mm. monsters. Oh, yeah, Katara yeah. is saying that uh, the monsters of this island have been well going well. Yeah, rampaging. Yeah, and mm. Gintoki is saying that monsters are always rampaging, right? <laughs> is this a for plot convenience thing? <laughs> <laughs> He's always breaking the fourth wall. Chimpachi is questioning <laughs> the point of his existence because Katara is because taking Katara? over his role. <laughs> yes, yeah, the Komi role. Yes. And Katara <laughs> is saying that she has the same position as Sadaharu, she's the mascot. Mascot! <laughs> Okay, on to our next job. Mm, that's fast. Ooh, monsters finally? Like normal monsters. Yeah, oh, Kagura is charging her head and saying that she wants to... Yeah, Shinpachi is going crazy seeing actual monsters. <laughs> real monsters, yeah. They're real after all. Why is he shocked? Now that you wonder... If I'm not wrong, Gintoki is wondering whether they can actually battle the monsters in this world. Yeah, well, we'll fight and find out. I'm sure they can anyway, otherwise there'll be no point in True. <laughs> having the collaboration, so... Okay, let's... Uh, let's go on. Where's my Gintama party? Did I accidentally? Uh, yeah. Ah, it's here. Okay. Yeah. Okay, let's go. I wonder when the 
other characters will show up in the story. Yeah. And what the hell are they doing? <laughs> Wait for the Shinsengumi or Hatsura maybe to show up. Yeah, I'm just wondering how are they going to break the fourth wall regarding Takasugi they all. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's Toki just complained that he lacks sugar and he asked Shinpachi if he has any sweets. Ah, so that's why they're eating. I missed that. Okay, next. When will our debt actually decrease? I'm wondering. <laughs> Never! They are actually recording the damage they are dealing in numbers. <laughs> 1000 damage. Yeah, 1000. Yes, that's like so much. In the white cat world. Yeah. Actually, no, it's not a lot. But it's. So he's saying that, um. It'll be great if you can reach next week's jump. <laughs> oh. oh, he's he says that it's thanks to the weekly jump oh, that you know I he see. got a lot of special moves. Ah, I see. <laughs> yeah, everything is thanks to jump. This is a lot of advertisement, ah. man. Jump, jump, jump. Scoffing had his 1k damage and <laughs> she did 10 times his damage. Yeah, I think, yeah, 10,000 damage. 10,000. Yeah, yeah, and Gintoki is like, 10 times? Did you <laughs> pressure Korabora, which is actually White Cat's, um, the, the company White Cat belongs to? Yeah, this is all very, uh, what's that called? Breaking the fourth wall, yes. Yes. I think oh. I think the the employer is saying that you know the the now this one thousand damage is not is not usable. It's nothing to look at now. And then when Gintoki asks, so what are the what are the uh, damage dealt by the characters that come out nowadays? And then 
the 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 yeah the missioner is saying the client is saying is about hundred k. Wow, and then Kitoki is just shocked. One thousand, one thousand is so little compared to hundred thousand. Yes. Oh, Ichioku is eight zeros. That's ten million. What? Ten million? Oh my gosh! Oh, wow. Ten one what one one k is peanuts to hundred million. Oh, okay. Hundred million. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Hindoki, you are pathetic as a main character. <laughs> when is he going to level up in the story? <laughs> no idea. I have no idea if we actually really do that amount of damage. Should like. For our current characters, so I can. <laughs> yeah. I have no idea either. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, all we know is that Gintoki apparently does very little damage anyway. Katara's <laughs> eyes! They look dead! <laughs> Yeah, and and Shipachi is like, what kind of power cream is this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Katara has frozen. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. He's saying that. As the main character of a jump series, yeah. <laughs> jump is the home of power creep. <laughs> yes, we always see the main character power creep. <laughs> so we are going to see him power creep. <laughs> yeah, I think so. So this is this quest is yeah. The damage is inflated. Mm. Okay, the the more more damage dealt, the better. Mm. Okay, let's see the conditions. Okay, it's still still the same. Okay, let's see how much damage we can deal. Let's see what Kin yeah. Toki says. Oh, the title of this mission is the training up you often see in jump. <laughs> okay, yes, oh, almost <laughs> even for sports, yes, there's always a training up. Yes. Yeah, there's always a training up, and then after that, the the there'll be a the awakening of the hero. Yes. So yeah. Yeah. After this, we'll see Yintoki and Ko's awakening, right? Yes. <laughs> But the thing is that Gintama has never ever bothered with power creep. <laughs> well, then now they have a chance to. Yeah. And yeah, Gintoki yeah. says, let's go after reading Jump. Yeah, okay, <laughs> let's go on. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Even though we haven't read, but well, I'm sure he speed reads too. I don't think we have money to buy the latest one though. You don't think what? We have money to buy the latest one. Ah uh, yeah, we are yeah, all in debt. Like <laughs> How much rent did he delay until so such a big amount? <laughs> Isn't the old lady chasing after him already? <laughs> <laughs> We'll see how debt will decrease in state because of jump. <laughs> uh, yeah. But what to do? Jump cannot be quit. Whoa. They are already into 60 billion. Three, oh my 300 God. billion. This is insane, okay? This is like really insane. Normal attacks do not deal such crazy damage. 
yeah. they don't do billions of damage in a few simple hits, okay? In this way, no boss is worth defeating already. <laughs> there's no, there's never a world in danger thing, okay? <laughs> this is insane, insane, I tell you. Yeah, some crazy power creep over here. I know he wants to show the true power creep, but this is not the way to do about it. Oh my gosh, <laughs> Hintoki is insane. And wow, we are at S grade already. Mm, go for SS. Yeah, I imagine it's just a matter of time. Short time. Mm -hmm. What does this say? It says, oh, uh, to the right. Those that want to train go to the right. Yeah. yeah, so right. Oh, wait, wow. Wait. Wow, we are at two. We are at Whoa. SSS. Right. And it's rainbow we are at color. Triple S. And, and, wow. And is this, is this two this trillion? Is two trillion. Oh my yeah, gosh. Yeah, wow, two trillion damage. It's like really a first over here. This is crazy. Yeah, first thing in a white cat and first time seeing triple S. Oh my like, gosh. Whoa, what? Oh my gosh. This is insane. And we are just hitting the the basic of the basic mobs, the tanukis. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> we are totally breaking white cat's highest. White cat's normal is SS grade. We have broken so, this oh, game, right? Triple S. Yeah. Yes, we have totally broken this game. Rainbow color. <laughs> we have to pick Let's see if we can get higher. One minute to go. Okay, yeah. Let's see how much I can do. Oh, you can get three million! Almost there! Imagine he was doing 1k just now, and then, now he's... <laughs> yeah, from 1,000 to 3, three trillion, it's like, whoa! Okay, let's go. Whoa, four, five! <laughs> wow. Whoa. This is such simple power... Power damage, yes. I don't even feel oh, happy six, about this because seven, it's too insane already. Eight, nine, ten. Ten wow. trillion. Whoa. We've broken records. We are like ten the world trillion. champion right now. And defeated the boss. Yes. Before the time is up. <laughs> the Shonen Jump protagonist after 20 volumes has, he has hit it in a matter of a few minutes. This is not flashback, there's nothing flashing back, oh my gosh. But Okay, so just skip forward. <laughs> Woohoo! Oh my gosh. Time skip! Yes, <laughs> this is totally time Oh, time skip is what Git Gitama yes, loves best. Skip, that's the word. Yes. SSS. Time skip, that's the word. In rainbow colors. And even the loot has rainbow colored background. Wow. Yeah, wow. 10 trillion. This is 10 trillion, right? <laughs> Oh my yes, gosh. Yes, Tendrin. Yes. It's the first time we are seeing it. It's all for Gintama. <laughs> SSS great. Okay. What's left next? Like, you know, we'll hit 10 trillion. What's there left to do? <laughs> and the boss will hit, I don't know, a thousand trillion? What, what, what's, the, what's the term for that anyway? It's insane. <laughs> yeah, 
<laughs> Don't crazy. bully the Tanukis, you jerk! Uh, Tanukis! Katara is still in freeze mode. Yeah, normal damage deals <laughs> crazy, crazy damage. Yeah, one trillion damage for normal attacks. Like what? The game has been broken. The mascot is broken. Yeah. <laughs> the mascot doesn't. Katara doesn't want to acknowledge this power creep. The warehouse. Like, storage, They'll the be warehouse. Benched. Yeah. Yeah, because they're yeah, be benched. Yeah, because yeah, their stats will be Well what's that called? Power. Yeah, it won't, they won't catch up with the new power creep again. Yeah, power creep by others. Yeah. And Katara is still saying, no matter what, no. <laughs> Oh, the poor Tanuki! This one left! Yeah, it's so cute! Don't kill it! Yeah, and it doesn't look like it wants to fight. Yeah. And then this client is saying, So what? It's a monster. He wants to clear out all the monsters so that he can actually use this piece of land, this piece of forest to uh what development. Yes. Yeah. Deforestation. Aww. And the tanuki is going cute cute. Katara can talk to the ta tanukis. Story behind it? Yes. And we are being I asked to follow them. Okay. So they want to protect the forest and they are fighting to protect it. Oh, now suddenly we seem like the bad guys. Yeah. So they want to fight to see who gets a say in the forest. Uh, oh. Yeah, we can win and then if we win, we will get to say that we will keep the forest. Okay, the one that loses has to leave the forest. Ah, I see. And Kagura volunteers to fight the forest boss and she loses. Oh. Yeah, everybody is happily saying that, yep, she lost. 
Akura actually losing. Yay! <laughs> For this time? In this case, yeah. Oh, nice they, they, they. It wasn't a fight, it was. It was Jacket, which is rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> okay! Okay, it seems that this client is a bad person. He's been actually uh, forcibly, you know, taking away the, the land rights of the village villages around this area because he wants to develop the oh. land. Oh, another bad client. Yep. So. He's just wanting to do the typical merchants, bad merchant stuff. Forcing the people of the land to give them up. What's that big building? It looks like a castle. Rune generator. Oh. Yeah, rune generator. What's that? No idea. Ijikata and Okita are here? Yeah! <laughs> like, what are these? What are these people? The monsters. Oh, finally! They, their, their, their build has finally come! Yay! Yeah. <laughs> How appropriate that uh, you have a Ijikata partner as well. <laughs> This creature is like a, a robot centipede. Gigantic centipede, though. Yeah, it's the giant centipede, yes. Oh. One of the bosses of White Cat. Well, it's <laughs> sure taken down easily. <laughs> well, this is story level. Stories are usually easier, eh? At least the starting. And it gets increasingly difficult. <laughs> yeah, glad he didn't use his three his trillion damage power. Otherwise he'll be over in like seconds. I feel sorry for the enemies, yeah, if he uses trillion <laughs> damage power, yeah.
the situation that Katora can talk to do Toshi Tanakis. Wasn't she able to do that before? Yes, she, she was able to do that. Hmm, oh, just wondering why they made it, I think. So are we going to see a new client? Because it seems that we are done with that arc. And we still haven't reduced our debt. It's seven chapters and our debt has not been reduced by <laughs> one cent. Yeah. Oh, who's this? Question marks. Who was it? Who oh, was it? I know who it is already. Who? Oh? It's Hasegawa. Oh. From the voice? Yes. Tada! Our <laughs> homeless, useless bum, Hasegawa. By the way, he has the same seiyu as Akainu from One Piece. Oh, yep. I see. Okay. He's a bum here and he's an admiral in One Piece. <laughs> White range of roles. Oh, Rufus! Oh, Rufus! Hey, hello! Yeah, he's actually one of the uh, playable characters from... You can get him from Gacha, in fact, in White Cat. His story was mm, yeah. just quite recent in last year. Yeah, I liked him. I was like, uh, PTG, I didn't get him when he was out. Okay, Rufus is saying that, uh, I think he's saying that the, if the island continues to use the rune generator, it will overlap. Yeah, if there's some danger in continuing to use it. Okay, I wasn't sure what that was about, but yeah, just earlier in the scene, you know, everybody's actually wearing the special goggles and they are all looking at, you know, Hasegawa and then the little girl asks him why he's not wearing the goggles and Hasegawa just says that, you know, he's attached to his sunglasses for some reason, for, for a special reason that you will find out in the anime. Yeah, but you won't find out here. Okay, and then he meets Rufus who is totally down because... He was being called a loser by the guy he was talking to. 
So anyway, I think the goggles have something to do with the generator. Uh, because, I mean, after Rufus was talking about generator overload with that guy, they immediately switched to a scene whereby all the characters are wearing the special, special looking, like very sci-fi looking goggles. Yeah, so probably that may cause some kind of overload. I think... Using it and will endanger the lives of everyone. Actually, you know what those goggles remind me of? They remind me of some, the, the, the what, Google glasses? Yeah, I think maybe the generator uh, provides the energy to power up these special goggles. Oh well, let's just continue. Okay. <gasps> it's, it's, it's Hijikata and Okita, they are finally here! Okay. Yeah! Okay, and Hijikata is like, okay, so this is the, 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 uh, different world? The fantasy world? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yep, Okita saying that, you know, from the, uh, the fashion that everybody has around us is no doubt this is the fantasy world. <laughs> oh, he, for some reason, Gengai San is his name is mentioned here as some kind of a. Uh, Culprit? He used the Amanto technology yeah, some to. Criminal. Sorry? Some, some kind of criminal? No, uh. Gengasan is sort of a criminal, but he's usually a good guy in the Gintama oh. anime. Uh, okay. Mm. I wonder. Mm. Oh, okay. He made the just the way. Oh, okay, okay. It so it's the just the way that the just the way is the thing that holds the Amanto technology. That stupid thing. That stupid lame looking thing. This is so annoying. Okay, so it explains why Hasegawa is in this world because yeah, he was actually they actually featured him along with that just the way model thing also. And yeah, when they were here, they also featured the just the way model thing. So I think this is the key to for them to jump into this world. Yeah, and it's made by Gang Guy, and that's not surprising, ah, cause he's a great technician. Mm. Ah, so he's wanted. Makes sense, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, actually, just the way, if I remember correctly, right, it used to be, not used to be, I think when it first came out in the anime, it was a, some kind of a bomb. Oh yeah, it was some kind of a bomb. Yeah, made by some factory for some terrorist organization. Yeah. Okay, Okita is talking about chasing after Takasugi. Mm. Yes, he's Wait, so... like the number one. Yeah, it's a flashback now here. It's Takasugi Shinsuke. <laughs> he's like the number one terrorist wanted by the Shinsengumi in the Gintama world. Mm. You have to explain that a bit. Yeah, he's like the biggest terrorist. He's supposedly one of the biggest villains in the Gintama world. Okay, so Takasugi vanished in... There was a fast flashback, it, 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 that's, that's all? It ended? Yeah. Oh well. They, they, <laughs> they got lazy. They don't want to show his face yet. Yeah, but he, he vanished <laughs> and uh, all that was left was, uh, I think, the just away. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, 
just dramatic way to talk about his background. <laughs> <laughs> so while well, well, they were just talking about Takasugi, Okita conveniently wields his sword against Hijikata. Yep. So yeah, just while talking, he tries to casually kill Hijikata. Very good job. And yes, his assassination attempt failed. Okay. Yes, Okita. <laughs> Always a, a opportunity guy. Every opportunity is the perfect <laughs> opportunity to assassinate Hijikata. <laughs> oh, so who are you going to go for? Uh, okay. oh, what are you saying? Pasari Itaroka. I have no idea. Well, uh, I think Okita is say, oh well, uh, let's just start hitting or something like that. Let's just fight. Shoot. Ah, okay, okay. Oh yeah, let's just shoot at Hijikata. Yeah, I'll go with Okita. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's As you can see, Okita is half transparent behind me. He's in this mode, it's called the stealth mode. The AI, enemy AI won't detect him. Ah, so he has activated that skill, that's like a special skill of Okita's. Yes, uh, I think... After his skill 1 or skill 2, I think it's skill 1, uh, it will activate. Or both? Is it? Oh, wait, I think it was both, yes. One. Yeah. Which is very useful because. Oh, okay, this is the. Wow. The boss. Yeah, it's very useful, he can just charge ahead and. Yeah, they won't discover that he's around. Yeah, it's very good for stealth missions, whereby you have to get somewhere. And survive within the time limit. Yeah, without being discovered. Yeah, there are some missions like that in some stages. Yeah, I like stealth mode a lot. To sneak up on the enemy. <laughs> or you escape overpowered enemies you can't defeat if it's a survival stage. Yeah. Yeah. It's very useful, you know. Yeah, characters with uh, stealth skill are always worth getting. Okay, I think that's all for today. Yep, we can find out more of Hijikata and Okita's role in the next video. I'm sure they are actually here to just mainly, you know, trying to find Takasugi. <laughs> But yeah, I guess we'll find out. Yep. So, also check out our um, the rest of our videos in our Gintama and White Cat Project collaboration playlist. Yep. Hope you enjoyed our videos. See you next time. Bye. Thanks for watching. Bye.